Hi, I'm George. We're going to take this photograph here with this green screen background, remove that green screen and replace it with something else. In this case, I'll just replace it with this kind of nice field background. Fairly easy project. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and click on subscribe. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way is to get my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to work on this one. Luckily, with a green screen like this, it's fairly easy to do as long as there's no green in your subject. In this case, there isn't, so it'd be fairly straightforward because we can just select this using the magic wand tool. But whenever you do anything that's going to be changing your image, first make a duplicate copy of your background. So right click and duplicate layer, choose OK, and then hide that background. That's just a safety, just in case things get messed up. OK, now let's use the magic wand. It's right up here and on our options down here. The normal setting for the tolerance is down around 30, 32 down here. You want to have a higher tolerance. Let me just show you why. If I go to a lower tolerance, like 25, and I click in here, and I have the set for contiguous, which means touching. So it has to be touching. Notice that it's missing a lot of stuff. Misses everything down here, misses everything down here, misses a lot of stuff right around these sides here. So it's not getting the full green on that. So I'll click back here to new, and let's bring this up to about 100, which I found is better. Here's 101. You can just type this in if you want to. There we go. And now I'll click in here, that deselects it, click it again. And now I have a much tighter selection as you can see in here. It's nice and tight along the sides. And it's very tight within the hair. We can get bit better on the hair just based on the refined edge. Our first thing is just to bring your tolerance up. And that's going to get a lot more of that varying shades of green, which is the problem. So notice how we have some light green and dark green. So that solves that one. Let's now add in these two missing pieces down here. For that, just change the magic wand over here to add and then click into those sections and grab those two parts of the green as well. Okay, so the green is now selected and the girl is not. We need to reverse that. So let's go up here to select, come down to inverse, and now the girl is selected and the green part is not selected, and that's perfect. We can now fix some of the hair stuff in here. Come down to refine edge. Notice how the background has turned orange all of a sudden. That's because I have a red mask on this overlay mask and red on top of green gives you kind of an orange color. If I change that to black, you can see there it is. But I think the overlay is easy to use. This way we can easily see where any green is showing, like right inside here. Now adjust your size here for your brush. That's a little large for what I want to do. So I'm going to bring my brush size down here. Let's try 50. And that's pretty good. It's a good brush size. And I'm going to set smart radius at one pixel just for a little bit of help on this. We'll adjust our contrast and some other stuff as a last step for the output down here. But come in here and wherever you see some green, just brush into that until the green goes away. Now if it's inside the hair like this, just brush into the green and that's good. And you may want to brush just around the hair. Hair tends to be kind of hard for Photoshop elements to always select properly. So a little brush right around the hair should be fine. Everything else is going to be okay. Don't worry about that. Just get the hair section right there. And that is perfect. We don't want to output this to a new layer with layer mask. Choose decontaminate colors. That's going to help get rid of any fringing effect happening. And I'll leave that at 50%. That should be okay. And you can also bring your contrast up to that 50% as well. It's also going to make your edges just a little bit harder in here. And that can solve some of that fringing problem. Okay, I think everything looks good. Click on OK. And we then get this nice image here. We've removed that background green screen that was in there. We now can bring in a new background. Click down on this layer down here and then open up whatever background image you want to have in there. I have mine sitting over here in my recent file list, which is right down here. And that's just this picture with some horses in it. Now, if you don't have floating windows like this, let me just dock that right here. I'll go back to this picture here and then simply come down to the photo bin and then don't click over here on the picture. Just drag it up like that and drop it in. And there you go. I'll change to the move tool and I'll put this right at the top and then I'll pull the bottom down here and get this to fit. There we are. Choose OK. And then drag that down underneath our subject layer. And there we go. It's now in behind. OK, last step here. Let's just adjust the values for our picture in behind. And for that, go up here to Layer. Come down to New Adjustment Layer and Levels. Where it says Use Previous Layer. Check that. Choose OK. And now I have this control. And I can adjust those values. First, I'll bring the right side. And this is the white side. I'll just lighten that up. There we go. And let's adjust the midtones just a bit and pull the blacks in, but this just increases our contrast for that. So we've brightened it up and increased your contrast a little bit. The middle control does most of your brightening of your picture. Left side are the darks in your picture and right side are the lights in your picture. It's a combination of those that will give you the best look. If you look at the values in here, these are the values across your image. Most of the time, bring your black 
into where you see those values begin to increase. Same thing on the white side, bring it into you begin to see those values increase right there. And that's probably pretty close to the correct setting. And then close that down right there. There we go. Okay. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Also, make sure you take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop elements. The link for that is right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.